this is a part 2 of XML which is one of the very very important videos if you are working on XML that is iterating to the XML okay this is very important because this will give you the control on XML file that you have okay so yeah let me let me start so here I have taken few um, one sequence and I, this I have explained in the previous video if you haven't seen this my previous video please watch my previous video and then come back to this because that will have basics here from uh, from where I stopped I'm continuing here okay so I'm, I'm just on a brief I'm explaining here I have taken one read text and I given that XML file here and deserialized I given that uh, in output of that read, read XML and to the input to the deserialized XML and XML document I have saved in data here you can see okay so so here let me show that example to you here yeah so here how many invoice we have we have one two three and four invoices so let's get that count first then let's look through each and everything okay so what I'll do here is message box simply I'm showing the message box but depends on your business logic you can use other things as well data dot element of element what is our first we have to get that parent element that is those here as you can see here the tagging should go from those here then invoice those counts since we have multiple invoices here that let me tell you why I am saying that here once you done this you can see element and elements elements means you have multiple okay so I have multiple in my example so I have given that invoices invoice is my invoice is my tag name okay dot I'm just getting that count here okay count dot I'm saving going to the two string format okay good let me execute this I have to get four right so I think it started executing yeah in the in the meantime if you have any doubts on this XML please mention them in the uh, comment section so that I can explain as you can see I got the four as an input okay that's good so not input as an output okay yeah now let's get into the most important type that is a for each loop so what I am trying to do here is like in each invoice I want to get the values of these okay after that in each invoice in invoice line I want to get the values of line ID amount currency and all those things okay so what I am going to do now here is for that to happen I need for which loop okay then good in for which loop what I do is I'll take the data of element element of what is a parent parent is dozier right dozier then then elements because multiple tags of invoice are there in my example so I have taken invoice uh, elements invoice okay invoice once I got that here what I need to do is here the type of item is object so what I have to do is I have to go to the browser element and type x element because the type should be element here x that indicates that xml element here okay once I got that what I will do is let me just enter message box message box I am showing the message box here so what is the value I needed the value I need here is let me take this customer name okay and customer number okay 
so customer name customer name is customer name is item dot element element of customer name right customer I think it should be caps I copied it right customer name dot value okay then let me take one more here customer number customer customer number cool now item dot item dot element of customer number dot value dot to string okay so yeah cool let me execute it let me put that example here good yeah it can be little tricky now but uh, as you can understand it will be very very if you if you practice it it will be very very easy okay for this account here now let's see customer name is Mary Mary and the number is let's see two seven okay and other customer number is sorry one sec let me expand um Henin Henin is this guy and that uh, C seven five seven five okay so like that you will get okay these are once you have it inside the loop we can get these values okay now now uh, I'll explain how we can get the values of these okay and then we'll understand what we can do for that so what I'll do here is once I have item here what I'll do here is I'll be in one more for which loop okay so for each of this item so item mm, I'll keep it as item 1 because item dot elements of let's see what we can get here here we have invoice line right so here let me explain this here invoice sorry invoice line okay so cool let me convert into the x element x element yeah yeah we have it here cool then let's we take one message box so item one dot element of element of the tricky part here is we have multiple invoice lines so even i am wondering which one it will take will it take everything or not even i want to see that okay so let me take this line id line line id yeah good element of dot to string not to string i want to take the value right so to value yeah. let me put that here and uh, so one for which another for which cool let me get that value here item i want to see how the data will come so is that 
one two three four that is one seven one two one double two three one double two four one double two five and then I should get four five six then four five seven and then that is done then one second the few values are there uh, that is it is not here then yeah here I should have one two three one two five one two seven one two three one two five one two seven that is perfect so here uh, as you can see from this example it's a quite uh, complex example because I have taken from official UI path site uh, I think we have covered each and every possible thing here if you have any doubt I know it's a little bit complex now but please do practice if you need this workflow especially this workflow Please mention your email ID in my comment section so that I can send a mail to you directly. Okay. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel for more learnings. And if you have any doubt in UI path, please let me know so that I can try to help you on this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.